I'm going to do a quick video on how to make an extension cord. This right here is a 50 amp plug right here. <clears throat> and this right here is 35 feet. I use it for my food truck in case I need to move my generator uh, out the way, you know, because of the noise level. So I made this extension cord up. <clears throat> but I also made another plug, which is a little small plug that I use in case of an emergency, uh, like the cold front we had in these i mean in february i had to run my house with my generator so i was able to run my whole house with my generator i'm gonna show you how to build one of these plugs uh how to put a male fitting on and a female fitting is the same but what you want to do is just get a knife and cut some of the rubber coating back you don't have to cut too much just enough and you can use the electrical tape uh later if you need to wrap around here to get a tight fit <clears throat> But uh, this plug is a little tricky, I'm going to show you. But you want to do is, you see right up there is the top, is the ground, then the two on the side is your hot. And you see your ground is a little bit longer, about a half inch. I say in between, about three eighths of an inch longer. So the red and the black is your hot, your white is your coming. And your white is the shortest one and your green is the longest one, which is your ground. And your red and black is going to be the same thing. And you, as you can see how I got this cut. I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to zoom in so you can have a better look at the distance you see there. As you notice that the black and red are the same length. And they're both hot. I call them 110, 110, which will give you 220. All right. So what you want to do is just strip it back. I say strip it back about 3 eighths of an inch. And you want to do all four of them like that. And it's good if you got the right tools to work with. You can do this with a knife, but sometimes it's good to have the right tools. And sometimes it's good to learn how to do some of this stuff yourself, especially like in February. My neighbors didn't know what to do. Their houses flooded. I had uh, heat. So I didn't have no problem for the three days. As you can see right there, how I got that cut back. And you could just pull these out. It's easier that way, just pull them out. And then you just twist it a little bit and you put your ground in. It doesn't matter which one you put in first, I'm just doing the ground. And what you wanna do is make sure this is tight. And once you get everything fitted up together, you wanna to snug it again and make sure everything tight. And I'm gonna take off one of the hots. It doesn't matter, the red or black, and I'm gonna put it in. And you want to make sure this part right there is going to be pointing to the outside when you put it together. I'll show you because if it's, if it's not, you're not going to be able to put your covering on. So we're going to go ahead and do the other hot, which would be your black. So you remember I told you your red and black is your hot. They're both running 110. Some people call it 120 or 110 and 110 to give you 220 or 120 and 120 to give you 240. Same thing. You know, I just call it 110. So you just go ahead and tighten those on. You see, I got my black and my red. And now I'm going to go ahead and put the white is your coming. And if you look in your breaker box and you got a voltmeter, your white and your green are tied in together. But your coming, it's right there. It's right there at the bottom. And I'm no electrician. I just been doing this for a long time. I do a lot of stuff myself because especially around this pandemic, it's hard to get a hold of people. All right, if you do, they might charge you a COVID fee. You never know. So sometimes it's good to learn these little simple things yourself. And you see, you remember I told you, make sure that this is pointed on the inside right there and you're, to tighten it up is on the outside. Okay, and then you just put them in, in the slots. It doesn't matter which one you put in first. It's a little puzzle, but it, it slides right in. They can go in only one way. And you push them down. Just make sure nothing's shorted out. And once you get this in, you take your screwdriver and make sure everything's tight. And so often, you may have to take these apart every three or four months and make sure that they are tight. This is a good view of it. You see that? Make sure nothing's shorted together. 
then you just put the cap back on and once I put the cap back on I have a voltmeter and you don't have to do the next step uh, I just do that to make sure nothing is shorted together because if something is shorted touching each other you're gonna get a spark and it probably is gonna kick your breaker or your circuit or blow a fuse but like I said, every couple of months, you probably want to take this loose and make sure nothing have loosened up. So if this video helped, subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day.